Western Australia has a very rich film and television industry and a passionate collective of industry veterans and volunteers are working hard to ensure that it isn't forgotten. Tucked away in a corner at the Sunset Heritage Precinct in Dalkeith, you'll find a stunning record of this history, including hand-cranked film cameras, whole TV news desks still in working order, as well as WA's very first television set. It's called the Pictures in Motion Museum of Film and Television, and the ABC's Sam Carmody went along to have a look. This is basically all cinema. And these are projectors from uh, mostly around the around the metropolitan area. Keith Rutherford, I'm the film librarian for uh, Pictures in Motion Museum of Film and Television, which also happens to include home cinema and home enthusiasts for film, and so on. And if we can sneak around here, it goes. <laughs> it's crammed full, isn't uh, it? It's absolutely jammed. See, that's that's just about any old cinema that ever was has got a a piece of its history somewhere here. With television, well, in most cases we were told what we could come and collect if we wanted it before it all went. In some cases we were rung up by um, somebody who was told to just get rid of everything and just said, hey, do you want to come and have a look through this stuff before I have to take it to the tip? And so if it looked like it had some history or somebody recognised it having been in some cinema at some time, because these things moved around, um, then we grabbed it because it filled the hole in the, in the story, you know. This is a, a wicket cam. The old wicket cam. Yeah, it's got a camera in the middle stump. The old stump cam would have been sitting in the middle of the whacker. Lily, bowls to Underwood, well up. He's played on, he's out. Yes, we only just got it in the last 12 months, you know. Right. Uh, it's been sitting in a private, you know, collection somewhere. Lily has now taken his 10th wicket. Can you tell me a little bit about the collective? And, I mean, it sounds like there's a very passionate oh. collection of people behind this oh. and, and volunteering their time. Yes, they were a passionate bunch of people, starting with the cinema people. When their industry went down first, there was a whole bunch of them who felt disenfranchised in a sense. But they said they were going to do something about it and they started collecting their, you know, their history. And then they realised pretty soon after that that uh, television was going to be in the same boat. So television people got on board and those veterans who were quite passionate about what they were doing. And if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't uh, have a clue as to what half the stuff is. You know. And how about you? Because I understand you're not one from, no, from the... From that, yeah. I'm not from that area and it might sound a bit strange because I started out as a teacher. It's the same mindset, basically. When I got into film, I thought, God, all this is just going to just disappear off the face of the earth if somebody doesn't do something about it. And kids will be asked, you know, have you ever seen one of these? No, what's it do? They have no idea. And they look at a projector and think, well, what is it? (laughs) I can remember showing some films at an RSL hall for an Anzac night, I think it was, and so they'd asked me to bring some films along and show it on 16mm projector. And I had kids coming up to me and saying, what is it? What's it do? You know, I said, see the picture up there? It's coming from here. Oh, is it? How does it get up there? <laughs> that sort of thing. So, yeah, they, I, I just think you have to preserve that sort of stuff. These are the cameras, three studio cameras. We've already used these um, in a in a session with school kids from Melville and uh, they had a reading practice session. How did they go with that? Were they nervous? They were fantastic. Yeah, they'd really done their their homework and they were great readers and very articulate. They knew their stuff and they were praised for it, you know, and they got a little certificate for doing it, which was lovely. What I would like to see is I'd like to be able to uh, go to a museum one day and in one gallery you might have um, an exhibition of Australian-made projectors film projectors, right? I'd like to see another studio where they've got a uh, a proper television studio working with kids involved, you know, Um, a poster gallery maybe, and maybe um, a special invite uh, exhibition from the radio people to come and do a big show about some aspect of radio in Western Australia, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'd like to see a really active museum with lots of different things going on in it. I guess I'm reflecting what I've seen at ACME in Melbourne and other museums around the world where that sort of thing is taken very seriously, you know. So, yeah, that's what I'd like to see, a really active centre which uh, 
has a nod to the West Australians who got involved in those industries. And You've got some images of oh, WA TV yeah, oh, royalty. Yeah, heaps of royalty around, <laughs> yeah. Now, I know um, the ABC's Russell Wolfe has, has been on our screens before. Is there any, any intention to immortalise him in the museum? <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I guess I'll put that to committee one day. <laughs> yeah, no, I think Russell would be pleased, wouldn't he? <laughs> I think he'd like that, yeah. The kind of the original cohort that really drove this, they're getting a bit older now and, and kind of looking to pass on yes, they, they some would, of that responsibility. I'm sure they wouldn't want it to die on them, no. They're hoping that somehow those who are left will be able to pull it off. <laughs> and, um, well, we're still going... You know, clearly there's a lot of passion behind this. Why is it so important to preserve this history? If you don't do this sort of thing, there's no cultural continuity from the past to the future. Uh, My granddaughter was telling me the other day she feels a little bit sort of um, isolated from older people who are involved in this sort of thing because there's no bridge, no already bridge, you know. The ready bridge would be a museum, you know. Um, so they can actually reconnect with how the things were done before. The ABC's Sam Carmody speaking to film librarian and volunteer Keith Rutherford at the Pictures in Motion Museum of Film and Television. It's at the Sunset Heritage Precinct in Dalkeith. Go to the Pictures in Motion Museum Facebook page if you want to get details. It sounds like it would be terrific, wouldn't it?